No, hi Paul, thank you very much for having me. Uh, like Magic is the uh, one-stop shop uh, digital hospitality solution for guests, employees and operators. Uh, I think how it originated is um, we're part of S3 Group, a large hospitality provider operating in Dach. We run 18 hotels, some of them Marriott's, but also we have our own brand, Stay Cook. And for that, we actually developed uh, Like Magic. You know, just really provide our guests with, uh, with, with a great experience, but also then giving our, our employees the time to cater for the guests. That's why, that's why we actually needed to provide the guests with a digital solution. Because with this, you know, guests can basically book, getting into the building, getting into the rooms, all by themselves. And that's why our hosts, they have time for the guests. We could actually run, stay, cook without stuff. But we wanted to keep that human touch because it's so important, you know. And, uh, but it's great, you know, I think that guests have a, if they don't want to talk to anyone, they don't need to. And that's basically how it originated, you know, to really provide that experience. And then we didn't have in mind to actually white label it. And then the industry came to us and they've experienced it, they stayed there, they had a great experience from a concept, but also from a digital, uh, digi uh, digital journey point of view. They asked us, can we have this as well? And there's actually not many players who actually share this with the industry. Like the Numas or Lime Homes, you know, they just keep it for themselves. And we basically didn't really think long about it and said, sure, let's share it. We don't give it for free. Obviously, we have salaries to pay, but let's, let's keep sharing it. Because at the end of the day, even our own brand benefits from that. Right now, you know, I think last year, I said this to you before, when I came here, I had five customers. Now I have 13. And guess what? They all bring in ideas, innovation. And then all of them benefit from them, including our own brand, which is actually great, you know? And that's how it actually originated. Now it's, it's a separate business. Uh, that was also very important. You know, uh, last year we were still like a project. But we always knew that it needs to be a separate business. So we also, as management, we actually went in with our own capital. So we own 6% of the company. I have my own board, a board that understands what, what we do uh, because it's technology. And SV Group, it's not about technology. SV Group is about the food experience, sleeping experience, but we do technology. So I have my own board and uh, we can now even bring in strategic investors. So it's actually very, very exciting. And uh, it's great to actually to see if you have a product um, where basically there's a strong, strong product fit or strong, strong need in the market, you know? And I think um, it was interesting, you know, when we actually had our first customers before we had a brand, before we had a website. Why? Because we have S3 Group, a large corporate in the back. You know, we had Stay Cook as the living proof. So that still gives us today a lot of credibility, you know, because we, usually I said, we eat our own dog food, but then some French guys told me we drink our own champagne. So we really use the product to own our own properties. And that gives us a lot of credibility, you know. Oh, it's, it's interesting, uh, it, you know, I, I'm, I come from the financial services industry and I joined hospitality in January 2020. Uh, so interesting, interesting time and people were in my network, they thought I was nuts. <laughs> and um, I think a lot of has happened, you know, uh, in terms of also digital. Um, I think there's still a long way to go, especially, you know, I think what great thing now is there's a huge spectrum of solutions out there. But the question is just, how do you select them that it becomes also manageable for you as a, as a hotelier? Because you as a hotelier, you want to care for your guests. You don't want to look after technology because that's not why you went into hospitality. <clears throat> and I think um, what you need to really think about is how do you assemble them? How do you assemble these different providers because you need more than one provider? How, can you man how, how do you make it manageable for you? And also to keep it open modular, 
because you want op you want you want you want um, flexibility options. For example, if one access provider is no longer doing your job, you want to have an option. You don't have to wait for six months to actually then actually have a huge project. You know, it needs to be fast. That's one thing. And the other thing, you want innovation. Let's talk about um, ESG. All that new stuff coming in. You know, you don't want to wait eight or nine months. You know, to actually provide your guests some sort of incentives, basically, or incentivize them to, for, for sustainable behavior. You want to have to do this quickly, you know? Not yet with another app. You want to do it with the same app, you know? So I think, I think it has a lot of things have happened in a positive way. I think it's now really thinking about a lot of hoteliers, they wanted to start, they started. Now it's to rethink, you know? And what we what, what see quite often now is especially um, brands that scale, you know, also you need to have technology that scales with you. We see it quite often that they started, it's like uh, very fragmented and it breaks. And it, it's okay if it breaks if you have two properties. If you have 20 properties, it cannot break anymore. So that's why I think really now rethinking it, you know, what approach should I, should I take? I think that's really now what, what's happening, you know. But it's really great to see, you know, um, the, the movement, you know, the, and, and hospitality is fun, you know, and you can really do a lot. And uh, it's a very interesting industry to be in. It's hard to say because, you know, it's like it's, it's you have so, so many different concepts, you know. I think what we see more and more now also with, with our, some of our recent clients, you know, it's no more so about like, you have a hotel, you have a service department, and then you have like uh, an elderly home, you know? It's really that, that blended thing that comes into play, you know? Give you our, one of our recent customers uh, called The Sipper. You need to go and check this out from, from Otto Lindner in Düsseldorf, you know? And I think that's for me sort of the next generation hospitality um, talents, you know? What they, what they really do now, they combine, you know? They combine living, co-working, medical very interesting concept you know so in one in one building and I think that that's I think that's what we see more and more you know it also from a from a risk point of view it helps to diversify you know um, so I think you see more and more you know in, in um, of, the, of these concepts um, and yes I think digital will pick up I think also um, hoteliers will learn how to really work with data once they first they need the data in a structured way you know it's, it's sometimes interesting to, to listen and they yeah we need to AI and everything but in order to do proper things with that you need to have structured data and it takes time but I think people are, are on their way and then you can really provide like this this this, this personalized experience because technology will get better and better, people get educated, they try, they learn. I think that's, that's something that will come along. Uh, and, but still, I think that the human touch will, still will stay. Obviously, it depends on the brand, on the concept. But still, I think most people, they still enjoy a friendly face, you know? And yes, maybe some people will be fine with an avatar or just nothing, but I think still, Depending a bit on the concept, I think sort of that the human touch still will remain. But the great thing with technology, you can make their job, the employee's job, also again more interesting. Because all sort of the typing in data, asking people over and over the same questions will fall away. And they really have time to cater, to cater for, the, for, for, for the guests. Makes their job more interesting, they're more happy, the guests are happier, you know. Uh, but you know exactly where the industry is in five years, I, I don't know. I don't know, but I think we, we I, I think just that whole mixed use that will definitely um, grow. I think we will get smarter in terms of how to use technology in a good way. I think the event is great, you know, I, I think um, what you do really well, you know, is to to bring sort of really forward-thinking industry leaders in one place, and uh, and then really to stimulate the discussion. 
And I think what this event is all about, it's about learning, sharing. Uh, even for me, you know, it's not so much about coming here and signing deals. I think it's, I mean, meeting people who already know, obviously you, you get introduced. Now my, my, my two highlights, you know, for, for today were basically two people that I was already in touch with. I actually even sent them emails before that event, didn't hear back, but I saw them on stage today. <laughs> so that was so great, you know, basically seeing them here and having these discussions. And I said to George and Alois, for me, even these two discussions made it all worth coming to London. And thank you again for this great event.